Hi, I'm Chantel with 141 Design Company and welcome to my channel. In today's short video, I want to share my May stitching plans with you. I decided to go with a patriotic theme this year for Mania and inspired by the Summer Memories book from Susan Aki, I started stitching these patriotic smalls in order to fill this cute little dough bowl that we just added to our Etsy shop and I am having the time of my life putting these together you guys it's so much fun and so quick they're going together really quick but aren't they precious now the key to this bowl for me right now has actually been the thread pack because in the summer memories book the beginning of it has quilt patterns and things and at the end there are 10 cross stitch charts and they all use the same Aurafil floss pack I picked that pack up and I've been keeping it in this travel case that I got from Target and I deconstructed it. It's um, you know, a jewelry box case. So I took the insides out and it fits my floss pack of the RFL spools just perfectly. This is the color palette that I'm using to create all of the pillows within the bowl. And I just love these colors. They're so fresh, they're so summery. They've got that patriotic vibe and they've all been going together just beautifully. The pillows that I'm creating here, I've been using fabric from my stash, all right? So that's what this is all coming from. This is actually a vintage fabric that I picked up at an estate sale. I've got this red polka dot, um, this little bit of red that I kind of liked for it. I think this one's my favorite. I think that's so cute. Cherry fabric and this gingham. So, so far that's what I've been using to finish my pillows with and to stitch them on, I'm going with a 32 count linen. I've got a blush. This is French blue from Fabrics by Stephanie. And then I believe that's paper bag from X Jew Designs, but all in 32 count and all linen. So, so far that's the look I've got going. Let me show you each one of them separately this little ship okay this is in the back of the book summer memory so this is a suzanaki pattern it was so fast you guys it went together so cute and i probably stitched this in i'm gonna say three hours it really wasn't that long at all i finished it with a simple pillow form or pillow format i guess i didn't do anything fancy and i used that red polka dot fabric for the back so that's the first one with the boat. These are filled with different things. That one is the pellets, so let me show you. I've been using either these pellets to fill with, which I got right off of Amazon, or these walnut shells that I had, and those you can get on Amazon as well. The next one is from Emily Call, and this you can find on her Etsy shop. This is a must have for your patriotic stuff. Even if you finish it in a flat or pillow, however you finish this one, you need to grab this from Emily. It's so cute. I think I might add a charm to it. I'm not sure yet, like a little 2023 charm, stitch it under the front. But this has that fabric on the back. Again, just your basic pillow. This one is from Stitchy Stars, which is by Lori Holt. It's on the 32 count. I did turn this one by putting a slit in the back, so I've got this denim patch on it, and I am going to go around and stitch that down. But it turned out so tiny and cute, and I probably will stitch at least three more of those because they're nice little fillers in the, in the bowl. This heart is free at Fat Quarter Shop. So underneath their free patterns, you can grab this heart. I stitched it on Fabrics by Stephanie, which is that French blue. And this one I finished with that, you know, fabric for my stash from the estate sale. I started with this one. It's, I love it so much. It is in the back of the book, Summer Memories. So this is a Suzanaki chart and using all of the Arafloss with on the Fabrics by Stephanie French blue color and with that fabric on the back. This one's filled with the pellets. Last, this is also in the Suzanaki book and it's this cute little cherry tree. And the, ging the rick rack that I'm using on the edge, I'm still practicing, you know, I am a work in progress myself. 
I went to Tiger Lily shop for a tutorial on putting that on. So you can head over there and watch her tutorial on that. These are also filled with the pellets, but I just stitched them up one so I could practice the rickrack and two so I had some extra um, filler filler pillows in here. As the bowl grows, I may be able to take those filler pillows back out and not use them, but right now I'm using them as um, support pillows while support pillows. Listen to me, like they're a support animal or something. Anyway, <laughs> um, but that way they are holding up some of these while I continue to stitch more so that the bowl can grow and fill. Now the bowl itself, we do have these in our Etsy shop. They do come from another manufacturer, so we did not make these. Um, so I'm at the mercy of when they have them available. I think we have sold out, but I have more on order, so I will be adding more of these to the shop. It is 19 inches long by six inches wide, and the depth of it, that's why I wanted to show you the pillows inside, and I wanted to actually make some pillows to kind of test it out. I think it's perfect. I love it and it comes in brown, white, and black. So this will come already painted for you, ready to go for your pillows and your collection. I thought I'd show you up close the fabrics that I used. These are just a variety of linens I had, fabrics by Stephanie's Blue. This one came from 123 Stitch, it's a blush. And this was from Exju is where I got the um, tan fabrics. But I, I like the way they go together. And I like the scrappiness of the bowl with the consistency of using this thread pack. So keeping that in mind, I do have a few extras that I'm planning to add. I might add some things from this chart, which is from Primrose Cottage Stitches. It's all American and it's just words. So I might just stitch this 4th of July out of using this thread pack on maybe the um, blue or the brown. They also have United We Stand, which I think would turn out super cute in these colors to go with the bowl, and that will fill in nicely. And then Stitchy Stars is where this small one came from. That's that one right there. So I think I should do at least, um, at least two more from this booklet, but a lot of the Lori Holt Smalls would fit in here too. The little camper from her stitch cards, you know, done up in these colors would look absolutely precious in the bowl. So that's my quick share with you just to give you an update on how Mania is going so far for me here at 141 and what I've been doing. I plan to continue to stitch these smalls through the remainder of the month. So I'll keep giving you updates on my Instagram page and then pop in for a quick floss tube. Um, I've got some other tutorials coming as well. In other news, our giveaway winners will be listed at the end of this video. So hang out and watch for your name if you entered into the giveaway for last time. And that was for a not forgotten box. Our not forgotten box is our prizes that we do for our giveaways and we just started these so these are the first ones going out but it is a box full okay the girls loaded them there's about six pounds worth of wood products in the box and they are products that maybe they have a knot in them maybe they were a prototype maybe it was something that just got cut and it's a, just a little bit off in the size um, or something we you know love it but we just have a couple of them so we've added it into the not forgotten box so it's a box of treasures and it's a mystery our winners like i said from last time are listed at the end of this video if you would like to enter in this week into the video into the giveaway for that i'm going to have you let's use the word patriotic this week so in the comments below use the word patriotic and then in our next video i will go ahead and draw more winners for more not forgotten boxes so if you're the winner, congratulations, and email me at info at 141designcompany to claim your prize. When you're leaving a comment, don't use the word giveaway, and I do need you to be 18 or over so that I can ask for your you know, address to send it out to you. I'm just thrilled with the patriotic so far. I hope you love it too. I'd love to hear what you're stitching if you wanna add that into the comments. What are you stitching this month for May? 
and I'll be back with another quick video really soon. So bye!